really care. I don't think I don't even care. Is that a real ring you got on, or is that like you cut a piece of uh, pipe and stick it on your finger? It's real. I believe you. What gauge is that? Ten. Seven. Like that's the size. Two. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be be like a pinky ring on us. <laughs> Not true. Mm. I got them sausage fingers. You do. Shut up. I wear a size 10. No, you don't. I can't yes, remember I what mine is. Let me see yours. Ain't no way. Let me see how that fits. Oh, no. It's too small for me. I'm so big. <laughs> Try it. Look at this. It fits. Slides right on. It's a 10. It Yep. Let me see that. All right, let me see. Because mine's a 10 or 11. I don't remember which. It's not a 10 if it doesn't Yep, fit. it's definitely not a 10. Can't even get it around my fat knuckles. You got the meaty knuckles. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, oh. yeah, we got this one, and then um, I got a nicer metal one, but these are just more comfortable to wear, you know, mm. normally. Rubber. <laughs> That's a cock ring. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell, tell, uh, tell Rex about what you uh, bought. It's really comfortable. A I banana oh, hammock? Kind of. Ooh. Uh, those new Hanes underwears that's got the pouch in the front that holds your satchel. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. Like, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna find some. They're phenomenal. I'll show you guys later how they work. Like you're gonna be wearing them or I got them on now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> got my stuff on a on a cloud right now. Hey, Dustin's smiling. I can't wait to see them. Oh, we know. Oh, we know. <laughs> So when you told us, hey, guys, you might want to go the back way here because remember last time oh, the yeah, traffic. Right, yeah, yeah, we didn't. Dustin he, was driving. He was like, uh, so what was Rick saying about going? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you already passed it. <laughs> yeah, like when we used to record at Dustin's, I, I always took the back way. Like I just avoid the freeways altogether, especially this time of day. Oh, you know? it's raining too. So when it rains, oh, people yeah. are like, oh my God, yeah. it's water. I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm on a hydroplane. <laughs> There's water. What are we yeah, going to do? Clap. <laughs> I could all die. Uh, could. My tires could drown. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, don't watch the movie Night House. That is my public service announcement for the day. So when did this come out? I, it's like it's either 2020 or 2021. I watched it today, and I really wanted an hour and 50 minutes of my life back. Mm, that that sucks. stupid anyways. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So what was kind of the storyline? Um, it starts this lady's husband had shot himself in the head in a boat in the lake behind their house. Oh, huh. and uh, some weird ghost stuff starts happening. Really? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this might be good. No, it sucked. Mm. It was terrible. So it was definitely a B movie. It was a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> D. No, no, it wasn't even a D. It was uh, it was a D. I'll say it was a D. I mean, was there any well known actors in it? No. Or? Mm. No. That should have been a red flag right there. Yeah. But I just looked at the picture and I was like, I'm not doing nothing else. Click. Mm. I watched uh, the new Halloween last night. Oh, yeah. How's Halloween that one? Halloween Kills. Yeah, I did. Um, I will say this. Uh, I'm a big fan of Jamie Lee Curtis. I think she's done some great stuff. Right. Some great movies. And Did you get the Sarah boobs? No, no. And you don't mm. want, she's like 100 years old now. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, the, 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 her daughter, whoever plays her daughter, I can't remember the girl's name, blonde, uh -huh. blonde lady. Um, those are the only two actors that you'll really know. The guy that played the coach from Remember the Titans plays the sheriff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, it's like some randoms. Oh, no, it's not randoms. Because one of the main dudes, I was like, man, that dude looks familiar. Uh -huh. Looks like hell, but he looks familiar. Anthony Michael Hall. Really? Yeah. Huh. Looks like uh, like he's been on a 50-year bender. <laughs> <laughs> Probably has. Uh, uh, but what I did notice about the whole movie was the acting was absolutely horrendous. Oh, no. <laughs> I was waiting for Alec Baldwin to just bust into the scene and wipe them all out. <laughs> and then blame the armor. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is, this is, the acting was so bad. Ugh. To be honest with you, the movie itself was terrible, except for like the last 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. Mm. And to me, one of the scariest movies of all time is the original Halloween. Oh, yeah. Like, you used to have the mask, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I, I, 
when I say scary movie, not like a jump scare, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's just like a, ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> like, that is a creep. Michael Myers is a creepy dude. Uh, yes, he is. Like, any dude that doesn't say anything and just can, like, uh-huh. walk, like, people are running for their lives and Michael Myers is just walking. Mm-hmm. That's scary. Well, and do you, do either of you know where they got the idea for that mask? The mask was actually a mold of none other than Captain Kirk himself. Yes, it was. William and I, Shatner. And see, I heard even more about that, that they were trying to find the cheapest mask they could find. So they found his, flipped it inside out, and that's what they made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it is iconic. Man. Oh, it is. That's like, le- yeah, awesome. That is a legit mask. Huh. Yep. Yeah, you learned something. William Shatner. The more you know. Just imagine William Shatner in coveralls. Yeah. Chasing you with a freaking. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video on Facebook of the dude that's like doing his podcast? He's got a big bunch of people around him, and uh, that girl, some girl, calls him like a says like you live a uh, like a miserable life. And calls him like a white boy. And no. He's like, oh yeah, I'm miserable. I'm a multimillionaire with all these businesses. He was like, you're just a mediocre porn star. <laughs> <laughs> I looked her up. Yeah, she's it's miserable. true. She's yeah. a mediocre she porn is. star. <laughs> she is. Her name is Kiki Clout. Really? Ooh. Huh. So you actually watch one? Let me put this in the phone. Oh, I went to her Twitter. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and put this in the phone. <laughs> How do you spell that now? No. Uh, That's clout with a K. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Kiki. So, mm. Yeah. We have a Kiki. We do. Much class here. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now here soon we got to get the frame so we can put that up down here in the studio. Yeah. Mm. I'm still sweet. trying to get used to my voice in here. It sounds so different. That we should just record in the bathroom. Good. Perfect. Yeah. With Get that the echoes. Bathroom reverb. Yeah. I think we're here. I've heard a couple podcasts that sound like they're in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so have I. We're going to have to train you to keep from doing like this. <laughs> what? I hear your voice coming in. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got a new setup, and it's it's going to take a minute to get you. Oh, not, yeah, for it's sure. It's not working. I'm going to sit in the hallway. Well, just maybe, lay maybe down. You need just gonna, so maybe you need the, the mic, mic higher. And, yeah, hold the mic and lay down on the floor. I'm just yeah, going just, just to hold it. Yeah, just shove it in your mouth. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. That might help a little bit. Uh, just bury your face in that. Yeah. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Mm. Uh, so what movies have you watched lately? Fuck. I watched the Hellraisers. Those are classics. So what new movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too cheap to go see is, a new movie. What are we talking about? Hellraiser's from what, 80s? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You got to watch the, the 80 horrors. So, uh, yeah, I'm too cheap. They to were go. a bit weird for me, though. Like, it was hard for me to get into the Hellraiser's. That's why I liked them. They were like a, wasn't there like this triangular thing? And Yeah, it was like a puzzle box. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's been probably 20, 30 years since I've seen that. Yep. I do love Pinhead. Old Pinhead. Yes. What scary movies have you watched, Dustin? Hocus Pocus? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. What did I watch? Halloween Town. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> I figured you'd think that. I don't think I've ever seen Halloween Town. Oh, you should, dude. It's a 90s classic. Uh, I Just the other day is the first time I ever watched, uh, what is it, The Corpse Bride? Or Oh, yeah. I don't watch scary movies. They're stupid. Mm-hmm. Get too scared. You're one of those scaredy cats. No, I like comedies. Dude, let me tell you a story of we had trick or treat last night, and somebody in our neighborhood turned their garage into a haunted house. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean it's it's a two car garage. It wasn't big. He had like tarps laid up into like a maze or whatever, Uh, and then there was like people in there like would jump out and scare you, and and it had a strobe light. It was like pitch black. You couldn't see anything. Oh, perfect. Well. Riley didn't go trick or treating. She was like, "I'm passing out candy this year. I'm I'm too old for that." <laughs> well, then we found out there was this haunted house in the neighborhood that they were doing during trick or treat, and she's like, "I want to see it." <laughs> I'm like, well, go down there. And it was like raining and everything. I was like, "I'll drive you down there. I'll drive you down. You go in." Uh-huh. She was like, "No, I'm not going by myself." Oh, jeez. Well, I don't do haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit, don't. I'm not afraid to tell you. Uh-huh. If you scare me, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> like if I if I think that I'm going to die, yeah, I'm going out fighting. <laughs> mm. I don't do haunted houses. 
Mm. Like I'm, I'm, I'm man enough to tell you that yeah. I will scream like a woman <laughs> and then throw hands. Like I like them. I, I haven't been to one. I in a feel while, like but. it's it's the end of time, and the only way I'm going to get out of this alive is to fight. But so I don't, you know, I'm like, mm. I was like, no, you're fine. Go ahead. She's like, you're scared. I'm like, I'm not <laughs> scared. Go ahead. She's like, no, I'm scared. Oh, jeez. I was like, I'll go. So we go up there. <laughs> And dude, mind you, I haven't been to a haunted house since I was probably like, I don't know, 10, wow. 11. No, I take that back. I went to, uh, went to one at, when Wind Out Lake was oh, open. Oh, God. Okay. We went to that one and, uh, I went with Candace and her family. Uh huh. And we were going through there, and I remember grabbing her and throwing her towards the dude with the chainsaw <laughs> so that I could save myself. <laughs> but, that was probably, I was probably 14, 15 years old. Uh-huh. I mean, long, it was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. So I have no interactions with haunted houses until last night. And mm. I don't, even, like I said, I wouldn't call it a haunted house, but it was, that's what it was supposed to be. Mm. So we go, we get up there, and <clears throat> like all these people are coming out laughing and screaming, ah, which is crazy because this is a neighborhood house. Uh huh. Like, they legit had this set up. It was pretty cool. <laughs> so we go up there, and Riley's in front of me. And when we walk, you have to like move this curtain out of the way to go into like the opening to this maze thing that he's got set up in his garage. Uh-huh. So I moved it out of the way, and it's like pitch black. I can't see jack shit. Like, I can't see nothing in front of me. Mm. So there's like the strobe light that'll eventually flash, so you can see a little bit. And I'm holding on to the back of Riley's shirt because <laughs> so honestly, you can push her. Well, it wasn't that I was scared. It was it was. The, I couldn't see anything. Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm going to trip over something in this garage and die or something. I'm going to be on the news. So I had to back of her sweatshirt and then she's like, starts pulling. I'm like, what are you doing? And it flashes. And there's like some guy dressed up like a clown in the corner. Oh no. And she panics, but I didn't. I, Cause I, I, like I said, I was too worried about dying, like uh-huh. falling. Dying. <laughs> so she's like, you're holding on to my shirt. And like, she's like trying to pull away. And I'm like, I can't, you know, I'm like, right. I can't see a thing. Yeah. So I let go and I turn the corner and I'm going down another way. And there's this old lady in a rocking chair, like <laughs> creepy as hell. Like She's smiling at you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, she was laughing or something and I'm oh, like, this man. is kind of creepy, but you can barely make it out. Cause this strobe light. Uh huh. And I see Riley whip around the corner there and she had like this red wig thing on and it fell off, so Riley's like got it in her face, and she's carrying it, and she's moving by now. Uh-huh. And mind you, we're in a two car garage. There's not a whole place, a whole, <laughs> lot, a whole whole lot of places to go. Right. She rounds this corner again, and I, this guy was in a like a little casket, like a black casket, like vampires are in, and he flips it open, and it it scares Riley, and she's like, "Oh, there you are!" <laughs> <laughs> and she's gone, bro. I'm talking like takes off like through the rest of this and i'm dying laughing Uh because her reaction to this guy jumping out at her was basically like oh there you are (laughs) so i'm dying laughing in the middle of this thing and somebody's like grabbing my leg and normally like that was my main thing with haunted houses if you touch me Uh like you jump out and scare me oh you know that's kind of funny but like I said, if you touch me, then I feel like I'm in danger. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a reaction. Like, oh, I'm going to punch, punch you. Yeah. So I think there was a kid that grabbed me by the legs. But I was laughing too hard to even really care. I just kept walking. <laughs> but I got, you know, when I finally got out of it, like I rounded that last corner and got out of this little haunted maze, uh, Riley's streaking down the driveway. And they had that fake uh, cobwebs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was hanging over the oh, door, yeah. and she's got it like wrapped around her, and she's dragging it down this people's <laughs> driveway. <laughs> so I'm dying laughing. But when I got home and finally like got to thinking about, it, I was like, man, I almost killed a little kid today. <laughs> like, if that was a little kid that grabbed me in there, if yeah. I wouldn't have been laughing, I probably would have punched whoever it was. Because <laughs> I just don't do you grabbing me, right? It's good stuff. It's a great story. It's a true story. <laughs> so, do you did you ever hear of? I think it's called Hell's Gate. It's like a Christian haunted house. I think it's on the east side, maybe. Was it Hell's Gate? I thought it was called something else. Hell, I think something. I know what you're talking about. Oh, Hell Stop. Hell Stop. Hell Stop. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, like somebody dies in a car accident, 
and then you start going through like hell. You're, it's a tour through hell. Yeah. Really? It's like yep. scary you straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's that dude, I think he might be out west, um, where like he goes beyond a normal haunted house where he'll actually like put, I think, bags over people's heads and tie yep. them up mm-hmm. and all this. And you have to see how long you can go. If you can go the whole time, though, I think they give your money back. I'll have to look it up, but it's. Well, I won't because it, it's freaky. Someone's getting shot. Like, I, I think people even get, like, bruised and, and scratched, and this dude does it, I think, all year. I I heard a story one time, I don't know how true it is, but that there was a haunted house somewhere in another state that was, like, a haunted hospital. Yeah. And it was, like, a hundred bucks to go through this or something. I thought Cincinnati some, had something like that at one point. It was some kind of crazy charge yeah. to go uh, through. Yeah, I've heard about it. But if you made it all the way through, you got your money back. Yep. And... uh like nobody make then nobody makes it through because it was a huge maze, right? Well, it, it's a maze, but it's supposed to be so scary that people don't yeah. get through. Yep. Oh. But <clears throat> then I heard later on that the reason they don't make it all the way through, and I don't like again, I don't know how true it is, but I guess there's a point where you're going down a hallway once you uh-huh. get to so many floors uh, that somebody jumps out and pushes you out a window. Like the window's what? not, the glass is not there, but they push you out and you fall down into like a, one of those airbag things. Oh, no kidding. Like but I mean, that. you have to sign a fucking, you have to sign a waiver and everything to go through it. That's crazy. Well, there's that one here that you have to do like a medical, like you have to have a medical exam to do it. Which one? It's not here. Hmm. It's in a different state, but you have to have a medical thing from your doctor saying you can do it. That is insane. Yeah. And uh, they like fucking waterboard you. Mm-mm. And everything else. That's what I'm that saying. That sounds like something that that dude I was talking about. I think he does that too. Yeah, I mean, it's that. just yeah, it's not happening. No, no, no that's like, I'm not going to pay you to torture to me. torture me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one thing I would like to do is go up to the uh, Mansfield prison. Yeah, and uh, like do an all night like ghost adventure thing. Like a that legit would be sweet. Thing. Yeah, like that, that's yeah. the type of stuff I enjoy. Not these, you know. In there, like a chair in a room. haunted houses. In there, like a chair in a room that. It sets in the middle of the room in in that prison, and if you move it off of where it's setting, like the next day you'll come in and it's setting. Back oh, really? I haven't heard about that. Yeah, there's something. Some one of the rooms that, in Mansfield it, it does that. I saw. Uh, I'm in this Facebook group, and it's. Uh, I think it's strange places in Ohio or something like yeah, that. I'm in the same one. Did you see the one where somebody took a picture while there, and you saw like a black man uh, like a black shadow looked like a dude off in the distance and there was nobody back there Ooh, no i'll have to check that it out. was awesome um but last time we went there um i went to the room where they all signed the wood saying like uh um well what was the dude's name red was there oh yeah, yeah um and then who was the guy before him the old dude i can't write did i seen that on on uh the news this morning they were showing that room oh yeah it's like still part of the set it, yeah because when we went there, I went up there and acted like I was writing on that wood, and then I added a caption, so was Rex. <laughs> it's good stuff. I've never been. Never it's been. pretty cool, man. Yeah, I'd like to go. Yeah. But this time of year, you can't even oh, freaking get no. close. That's like, I made the mistake of going to Kings Island a couple years ago, and uh, I mean, it was shoulder-to-shoulder people. What, like during the Halloween thing? Yep. Yeah. yep. Yeah, it was terrible. The place I was talking about is called McCammy. Manor, huh. like Cammy Manor, it's in Summertown, Tennessee. Hmm. You have to have a background check, a doctor's thing, and you have to find a sign a forty-page document. Wow. So, and then how much is the actual ticket to get in? Mm. I mean, between all the the doctor um, permission and and background check, yeah, I mean that's not cheap. It says that it's been on. It's been featured on two different Netflix series. So I'm gonna have to look it up then. I want to know the price. Yeah, me too. We should just start our own. Let's do it. You have to be 21 to do it. Well, we all three passed that test. True. But you can be 18 <laughs> to 20 with a parent parents approval. Oh, that's nice. Aren't you an adult at 18? Yeah, I mean, you know. We now live in a world. on the state. We live in a world now True. where at 18 you can go kill somebody in the military, but you can't have cigarettes or drink until you're 21. So mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. And obviously you need a, a parent to go to a haunted house. But you can vote at 18. Yeah, I know, dude. It's so backwards. 
Dude, so you have to be 21 or over. Yes. You have to have a completed sports physical and doctor's letter stating you're physically and mentally cleared. Pass a background check. Be screened via Facebook, FaceTime, or a phone. Proof of medical insurance. Signed, sign a detailed 40-page waiver. Pass a portable drug test on the day of the show. Wow. On the day of the show. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I bet you that's probably like 100 bucks a ticket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On top of everything else you got to pay just to get in. Not me. Dude, I'm not paying that to have somebody like beat the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. Makes me wonder what exactly goes on there. I bet they do some butt fucking. Mm. So, <laughs> so where are you going? So he's going next year. <laughs> <laughs> so I just completed my physical. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. 